Hello, good evening, peace and blessings. This is Balaji, and you are tuned in to Goddess Talk with Balaji and Miss Katrina Marisha Day. <laughs> hey, Trina. <laughs> so, great evening, great people. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all missed Trina last week, but Trina is here. <laughs> so just moving closer <laughs> so that they can hear you. So um, just a recap of last week, because that was our first show. And I was so nervous <laughs> just being out of it. Like, it was hey, just it like, happens. Oh. it happens. But, you know, it passed real quick because we started really having our regular, you know, girl chat, girl talk. And it was great. And we got such great feedback from everybody. I was so excited. I was like, oh, my gosh. We surely did. <laughs> and to the <laughs> point that, hey, we've already been booking guests. And we have our first guest tonight. She's on her way. But we are booked until the first week of September, I believe. So... You better get on Goddess Talk real quick, or we're just going to be booked out that you might not be able to he get on. He has not played it. At all. <laughs> so uh, what we're going to do today while we're waiting for Tasha, because Tasha is on her way, and so is our special guest, but we'll announce her, of course, when she gets here. But you guys, if you've seen our Facebook and our Instagram posts, you know it is Mrs. Rachel Spate Hudson of Look Who's in Business. Um, she has a couple different businesses. She has Pursue, Overtake, and oh, gosh, I just totally blanked out but i know it's the por recover pursue overtake and recover services um and she's been doing amazing work within the community i believe she's originally from bradenton um or i believe it's bradenton um florida i was about to say new jersey (laughs) but um we're gonna do a recap but we're gonna start real slow today because it is our first full real show um and i'm gonna allow you trina because since they missed you last week to just kind of tell us who you are and what you do yeah, move it. All right. I'm, well, I am Katrina Alberija Day. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm a Louisiana native, a proud Louisiana native, I might say. Um, I was, I guess I'll say raised mm-hmm. in St. Petersburg, what we call is the bird. <laughs> um, I moved here with my parents at the age of 15, mm. graduated from St. Peter High School, St. Pete College. So my roots are in St. Pete but I still am a proud Louisiana country girl. Because she's been back and forth. All the time. (laughs) And she just went to Essence (laughs) this past weekend, too, so she rules. You were there like two weeks straight. Yeah, two weeks straight. Back um, to back. Back to back. Um, The first week I was there was actually um, unfortunate. Mm -hmm. It was because of a family death. Okay. Um, And because we are a close-knit family, Mm -hmm. it was a must that I be there. Mm -hmm. And then I went back for Essence. Mm -hmm which was amazing. Mm. And when I say amazing, I mean it was inspiration, motivational, Mm. and to be a part of that and to be able to speak at that event was just something I was just like humbled. Oh, wow. And I was just like, this really happening. Yeah. (laughs) No, and like the fact that you have speaking engagements as such a big situation, like trying to make it moves. Yeah, just a little bit, just a little bit. (laughs) But still very humble, very humble. About them, <laughs> Trina is not boastful at all. I'm a, I'm a to her horn for her, but Machina, <laughs> uh-huh. uh, Trina be making some, um, some crazy moves, and I'm proud to even just know you. Like I met you at about a year plus ago now. Yeah, about a year and a half ago. Yeah, and uh, we just clicked right there, and it was just like, yo, we just kept meeting up, and then here we are. Yeah, we we met at what the Black Expo yeah. in January of 2018. 
18, I want to say, or was it 17? Yeah, I would say, I don't know. I don't know. The year is off, but it was yeah. definitely January. Mm-hmm. And we clicked. Yeah. Because you had a Nigerian flag or something going on there. And I was I like, I am Nigerian. What? And we <laughs> represent at all costs. Even every kind of outfit that I have, you might see green, white. It was probably a necklace. I think it was a I necklace. I think it was I a had. necklace. And I was and just let like, me tell what? You, it, was, it was my best friend. Um, She gave me that necklace. And I was rocking that necklace hard. It just had, it was just big green. Green, white, green, um, Nigeria, just right there. And I think that's where <laughs> you must have spotted it. And that was just it. We clicked yeah. right there. I walked over and I was like, hey. What's going on? From Nigeria? <laughs> what's up? <laughs> and that was it. Um, yeah. But Trina, tell the people um, what you do as far as your businesses. Because you do several different things. Yeah. I have a lot of stuff going on. Mm. Um, Aggie Wellness is Spa, which is my bay. Mm. I opened up the end of December. Yeah. It's a non-invasive uh, holistic wellness care center. I would say. Mm-hmm. Um, we specialize in non-invasive body care from from head to toe, mm-hmm. um, meaning that there's no downtime, no anesthesia. You when you when you're done, you're good. You can go back to resuming your normal um, everyday practices. And it's something that I actually dreamed of when I was a kid, that I actually. Um, Never thought that was possible. You brought it to fruition. Um, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> because as a kid growing up in Shreveport, Louisiana, which mm-hmm. is very country, mm-hmm. you at that age you didn't see a lot of people that looked like me. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, a brown skin girl. Yeah. The people that I seen were, you know, of a lighter shade. Mm-hmm. So I was just like, okay, <laughs> this is a little weird. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We yeah. gonna work this out? Yeah. <laughs> And here you have Aggie. Aggie Wellness and Spa. Yeah. And I also have Cage Dream Works. Cage mm-hmm. Dreams Work um, is a nonprofit organization that started in 2015. Mm-hmm. Um, that was started by my, it was started by me and my sister friend, Kenyatta Fudge. Mm-hmm. And it's a teen organization that I have for teen girls for them to, um, it's help, it's what it, what it does is help build their self-esteem and their self-confidence. Mm-hmm. And to help expose them to different professional um, careers that they may not be exposed to. Mm-hmm. And you started this one? 2015. Okay, so it's been it's about four hey, years now. It's a bit, a little bit. Yeah. Minute. Did you have an <laughs> event recently, or are you having one this weekend? I actually have one this Saturday. Yeah. Um, at the spa. Mm-hmm. And um, what is, what's about to happen? I, I need to yeah, promote you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're promoting yeah, yeah, today. Yeah. <laughs> There's a couple different things going on this couple weeks. Yeah, right? I actually opened it up to only about 20 seats. Mm. And they're all filled, by the way. They're all filled, um, which I wish I could have opened up more, mm. but that's something that I'm praying on. Mm. To actually have Expansion a is the word for yes. today. Yes. That's actually something that I'm praying on because mm. I hate to turn people away. Yeah. Hate that with a passion. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it's actually this Saturday at Aggie Wellness and Spa mm-hmm. from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. this Saturday. Okay. And so now, if anybody wanted to book a service with you for Aggie, uh, what's how do they get in contact with you? They can actually uh, they can inbox me, which I do not prefer, by the way. No. What's the website? <laughs> Let's just we're directing everybody to the exact location. So <laughs> www. A G G I yes. Wellness. No, Aggie Spa. Okay. It's A G G I S P A dot com. Dot com. Or you can call me at 813-488-1935. All right. And please do not DM me or call at two or one AM in the morning. Let's be respectful. <laughs> um but <laughs> A-G-G-I-Spa.com. That's how you get um, booked and get some of that healthy, glowy skin that Trina be rocking all the time. Uh, Trina has worked <laughs> on me before. It's been a couple months, but I had a lot of things going on, so I've been traveling. And Trina happens. knew. It happens. <laughs> Trina hey, knew. But, happens. no, Trina is the one person that I have gone to for facials in a minute because I don't trust everybody touching my skin. And the fact that you even talked about just the different products that you could use. Um, we talked about turmeric and just you have your own product line too. So if you want to purchase stuff too, you can still call Trina and she will give you how to get that. And, you know, we work on shipping and handling and all that. So Trina got a lot going on that everybody can kind of get into. <laughs> so that is Miss Katrina. So remember, Goddess Talk is... Um, 
Goddess Talk with Balaji, Tasha, and Trina. So Tasha's on her way, but Trina has now given y'all a little insight into who she is, what she will be bringing to Goddess Talk, because Trina will be bringing the health and wellness, um, the outside and inside kind of beautiful or beautification to the Goddess Talk conversations. Sure will. And Trina, of course, <laughs> Trina is our, um, she's our mediator. Me yes. and Tasha are more so hot because hey. we're both Aries, but Trina is the water sign. She's yeah, real I'm the calm one. <laughs> She's real relaxed <laughs> and laid back. So, you know, we will be pulling her like, Trina, what you think about that? She'd be like, well, um. <laughs> mm-hmm, just what it is. So take it or leave so it. So she will always bring that to <laughs> us. But um, what we're going to do is we're going to have or start the conversation um, with what we were talking about. We have great conversations throughout every time we meet up, right? And uh, our topic for tonight, for real, is equally yoked friendships or sisterhoods. Ooh, chat. Right? <laughs> so let's talk about that. What does that mean to you, the audience, right? Because if you guys want to tune in, please make sure that you're checking us out on, you know, InTouchNews.com. You're clicking the live feed. Uh, you're going to Instagram, Facebook. And I believe we do have a Twitter for Goddess Talk. Make sure you follow us on there. Um, but we're going to make sure that you really see us on different platforms. We're really expanding. Like I said, we have been pushing this brand real crazy to the point that we are booked to September. So if you want to get a sponsorship going or you want promo, I need you to contact us at um, goddesstalkcast.com. So info at goddesstalk cast.com or just go to our website goddesstalkcast.com um i believe in touch news does have a phone number and it is 813-444-9588 again 813-444-9588 if you have any questions suggestions or want to you know input on the conversation please give us a call so equally yoked friendships sisterhood Ooh. Let's go to the term yoked, okay? What does that mean to you specifically? To me, yoked means having the same moral mm. and spiritual mm. and mental value. Okay. Which is very rare nowadays. Mm. Um, I have a lot of friends. Mm. I'm not, well, let me backtrack because I just lied. Mm. Scratch that. <laughs> Scratch that. I have a lot of people that I associate, mm-hmm. but I have very few friends. And the friends that I do call friends, I actually consider them family. Mm. Because if I consider you a friend, that means anything that I share with you is of you. Is a, is a, yeah. And I respect you enough to know you that mm-hmm. you're, it's not going to leave you. Mm-hmm. Okay. So. All right. <laughs> Now, the equally yoked comes from a Bible reference. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to just let that be what it is, right? <laughs> but everybody wants to always talk about it when it comes to relationships and a lot of stuff. But people don't think about their actual day-to-day interactions with other people outside of a spouse, a partner, and so forth and so on. Now, for me particularly, um, when it comes to friendships, just like you said, it's not just friends like I have friends I do have friends and I actually from what a lot of my friends have told me I have a lot of friends and I'm like really I don't feel like I do but <laughs> apparently I have a lot of friends like tread lightly tread lightly. yeah but <laughs> I feel like I have really meaningful relationships right. with people um and so when we have a connection our energies meet at a certain point you know what I'm saying Um, that we have insight into one another, that we can see that, hey, you know, I can read you, you can read me, you know who I am, I know who you are, Um, I know what your pet peeves are, and I know to not tread lightly, but why would I try to instigate situations with you on certain, you know what I'm saying? Like, friendships are something that should be just as cherished as just, you know, a partnership with the uh, opposite sex or whatever. So that's equal yoking to me, where it's like it's beyond just like, oh, we're going partying, we're going clubbing. Like, those are just, you know, surface friends. Like, I could see you in the club any day. That's what it is. But we're talking about when I really need somebody who can I talk to? 
Right, but you have friends mm-hmm. that you could call for certain things. Yes, absolutely. You have a friend that you can call for inspiration. Yes. And prayer. Yeah. And then you have that friend that you can party with, mm-hmm. and then you have that friend that you can call for everything. Yes, and that's and it what doesn't I wanna, matter I about the hour part. of the night, the yeah. time of the day. You can call that person for anything. Mm-hmm. And I actually have about two or three of those which I'm very grateful and mm-hmm. humble for mm-hmm. to have because it's still very rare in yeah. this day and age. So it's just like, oh. And the thing people feel like childhood friends are going to be that friend that's no, going to no, no, be no. like. No, 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 because you outgrow each it. other. And everybody you know, because goes through different phases. Exactly. And, yeah. and that, that person owes you nothing. Nobody owes you anything. anything. I done moved the mic. Nothing. It was, it was, it was yeah. such a mic mover. <laughs> Nobody owes you nothing. Nobody owes you a thing. <laughs> And um, I think just with the growth that I've had uh, within just the past couple of years, because we're trained and conditioned in this society that, oh, you know, these kind of friendships that they're just surface friendship, that those those are long lasting. They're not, you know, the, the party girl that all that stuff like you may have friends through high school. But then guess what? You graduate and it is. No, let's go back to even just elementary school. You guys go to middle school, and you're not the same friends that you were in elementary school. You go to high school, gosh, they, those middle school friends aren't even there anymore. That's true, but you know what? It's like, I guess I have a rash circumstance mm. because my friends from the sandbox, yeah. literally from the sandbox, yeah. and I'll say this, Kamik Johnson and her sister, yeah. Sabrina Williams, yeah. like we met each other because we were next door neighbors, yeah. and it's just like we still keep in contact yeah. We still have the same views. We yeah. still have the same values, okay. which is very rare. It very. Very, very rare. Mm-hmm. And then it's just like when I moved here, I didn't know nobody. Nobody. And then I the was people just you like, kind of link with, you, yeah. they became good friends, or guess what? You still related back to those old friends because those new friends didn't meet you in the same space. But see, that's the thing. It's like my best friend that I met at 15 in my 10th grade advanced chemistry class, mm-hmm. Latrice Davis, is like, we're still best friends to this day. And it's just like, that's why I say it's very rare. Yeah. No. My, I'll call her, (laughs) she's still a great friend of mine, um, Tiffany. Tiffany's the one uh, that actually printed our shirts for Goddess Talk. Um, Every time I go to Jersey, we're still linking up. uh So we're about to go. (laughs) So we'll be right back. But give us a call, 813-444-9588, and we'll be right back. (laughs) Adrian, I mean, talk, talk. Jr., your motivational guru. This is the DLD Motivational Moment. One darn second. America since 2017 is suffering from a serious hiccup. 9-11 is seriously overused in a distasteful manner. Every day the cops are calling on an innocent, innocent person of color. It amazes me that America has come down to this. A person of color becomes a person of interest. Waffle House, the dorm, Starbucks is a few. This is not the lunch counters, sit-ins of the 1960s. 2019, harassed simply for being black and proud. Hold on one darn second. This has been the DLD Motivational Moment. Pre-order my new book, Motivational Moment, at DLD28-2002 at yahoo.com or 813-394-5875. Hey, this is A.J. Wright, better known as Mr. Clean. You looking for some great barbecues? Come see them two brothers in the grill. Located at 423 Virginia Street, Charleston, West Virginia. We got ribs, chicken, pulled pork, brisket, collard greens, mac and cheese, baby. Come get some. And get you a nice, smooth cigar. 304-550-4431. That is 304-550-4431. Come get some, baby. The rib man, mama, the rib man. Welcome back. Welcome back to Goddess Talk with Balaji. Hey, hey, hey. I made it. Tasha. (laughs) And 
Katrina. Hey. <laughs> so this one. Uh, okay. Yeah. As long as you just move in. Tampa, well Tampa, Tampa. Bit. We gotta talk about y'all traffic. Oh my gosh. Well, that I'm traffic. gonna talk about traffic all of Florida <laughs> because as a Jersey person, we'll be coming, coming to down Atlanta, here, man. <laughs> I have to travel at least an hour early to make it certain places out here. Really? Oh no. Like I live in Riverview now. Oh, yeah, and I make sure, even though it says like 30 some minutes to get here, I leave an hour early because I know there will be something to do. Yeah, definitely. And I, I literally just be taking my time. I take my time in my challenger. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all know what I mean. Uh, but, oh, we have a call. We have a call. Hold hey, on. Hey, hey, first time, time caller. caller. <laughs> <laughs> you have reached Goddess Talk with Balaji, Trina, and Tasha. Tasha. Who's, he, who's this? Hi, ladies. Hi. Hi. Good, Good evening. Great evening. Belay and Cheryl Crusoe, somebody that you are in a business hey. joke relationship. Hey, <laughs> Welcome, Cheryl. Welcome, ladies. Welcome to In Touch News. Yes. Hi. Hello. Thank Hello. Thank you. How are you? Miss Cheryl, first of all, yeah. let me pause her. Cheryl does a lot of stuff over here. She does? She okay. is the... Hey, Miss um, Cheryl. No, Cheryl. Girl, Cheryl let takes me all about you all. Yeah, let no. Me Cheryl be on here. Soon. She'll be I am here. calling to congratulate you three. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, yeah. you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank, thank you, Queen. Thank you. you. We appreciate amazing. that. God appreciate is you. Top. You yeah. guys are doing your thing. <laughs> thank and you. And yeah, shout out to uh, Let's Talk Business with SJC. So I'm here to say congratulations. I am enjoying your show Thank thus you. far, Thank and I will continue to listen. We can talk about me another day, but this is all about the three of you. Appreciate Thank you. It. Appreciate Thank the you. support, so Queen. Welcome to In Touch News. Welcome <laughs> to In Touch News Radio, and welcome to the new host yes. over here at 5508, where things are happening so you girls take it over. Thank All right. You. Thank you. Well, thank you. Welcome. <laughs> bye bye. That was bye. a warm, heartfelt. Yes. Um, right. She actually welcome, has another you know, show here she on does. In Touch. Okay. Yeah, and she does a lot of stuff. Uh, she does the DSI Black Pages. She, okay. She does a couple things. So Cheryl, Cheryl, Cheryl. Okay. All right. Big up, Cheryl. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else want to call and just give us some feedback, suggestions, or just be part of the conversation here at Goddess Talk? It is 813-444-9588. All right. All right. Give us so, a buzz. Don't be scared now. Back call to us. what we were talking about. All right. What I missed. You missed the fact that we're talking about equally yoked okay. friendships. Yeah. Or sisterhood. Okay. Right? Oh, um, this is a good one. It's a good one because ma'am, yes, ma'am. I got on this conversation with a friend of mine, a great friend of mine. Uh, I would say that she's literally my best friend, and okay. we've been rocking really since. It was so funny. Like we came into orientation together at one job, my first job out of college, right? <laughs> and we just clicked like that. And I don't even remember how, but we just we've been inseparable. I feel, you know. Okay. And uh, that was one. Of su- a suggestion, a topic that she was like, hey, y'all should talk about that because oh yeah, we both know that, hey, in our lives we may have had different friends and either right. we've fallen out with people or right. people fell out with us or just, you know, as we're we making... We outgrew each other. Yes, and we've been making different moves. Everybody's always making different moves and there's nothing wrong with that because I see you pushing, I love it. Me too. And I support and I, yeah. it takes nothing for me to repost, to, to share it, to even just say, hey, what's going on? Right. I'm not the best always keeping up with people but if I see something, I'm sharing it immediately. Right. And so we've seen where on the opposite side, a lot of us who are business owners, that a lot of our friends, when we are making moves, they're silent. They're real silent. And not That's just something sil- I've never understood. Yeah. Um, I always clap when people win mm. because I feel like when they win, we all win. And that's the concept that I don't understand um, in our community. Mm. Um, even at your workplace, I see, you know, there's no unity. And until I always, um, there's a guy on my Facebook page, his name is Darren, and um, he always talks about unity. Mm. And he always says, until there's unity and healing, (laughs) um, then we'll continue to see, you know, this, the things that we're seeing, like not congratulating your friends when they open up a business, Mm. like with when Katrina opened up her spa, you know, um, 
had her grand opening, you know, a lot of her closest friends were there to support her and they're continuing on mm. to support her. And that's the type of things that we need to be doing in our community. Mm -hmm. We need unity in our community. We need healing. But we're going to talk about healing, of course. That's yeah. going to be that's a, a segment. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be a deep one because yeah. that's something that um, we all need to realize that without proper healing, um, there's there. that's where it's, you know, that's where the friction and, you know, the self-hate and, you know, not the not wanting to acknowledge and, you know, um, the support. And so once we heal, then we can start to repair our community. OK, now, Trina, because she brought it up and Go we ahead. talked about it, we talked about how <laughs> you had your opening. And that's just an example because we mm -hmm. were talking about it. We know that I showed up, Tasha showed up, and me and you weren't like the best of friends for me to show up. Right. It was just that you saw, you sent me something, and I was like, "What? I've been waiting for you to start yeah. your day." I was like, "I'm there." <laughs> I was texting all my friends. I had a group chat. I was like, "Yo, we're all gonna be here on this date, right?" Um, and y'all need to book all that. Like that was just me, yeah. you know. And now, do you feel that you know you get more love from strangers sometimes than friends, or is it equal? Because I've heard those sayings where, you know, it'll be more people that you don't know who support you than those who truly know you. And you know what? I've heard that saying a lot, mm. but I haven't experienced it. Mm. I will say that my friends, they show major mm. love. Good. Like That's they, what they show be doing. major love mm. to the point that they book five parties at my shop. Mm. Right. And because of the fact that I'm so humble, I don't, you know, show that. Yeah. But it always, you know, when I leave the shop, sometimes I just have to go home and just sit sometimes and just sit by myself mm. and be like, whoa, did that just really happen? Yeah. Good, good. Because I'm just so humble yeah, and right. grateful yeah. because my friends showing me love and showing me support means way more to me than a celebrity showing me love and support. Tell right. that again. Because Absolutely. these are the people that I love yeah. and that I respect. Yeah. Right. A celebrity, they don't know me from A yeah. to Z. Yeah. Right, right. But my friends that I grew up with and that I have love and respect mm -hmm. for, for them to show that same and love and respect back to me mm -hmm. is is humbling. Yeah. Right. And it, it, it just it is I don't know, it it it's it gets you emotional. And let you me like, just tell y'all yeah. <laughs> before my wedding I had booked um a facial and you know just me because I don't really know about services and stuff like that so and of course I was gonna book with Katrina because she's been a friend a good friend of mine for about 15 years and so I just always think okay if you book a facial it's something you know basic or whatever mm -hmm. you're just gonna go there and get your face you know massaged or whatever or some chem you know some things put on your face but honey let me tell you <laughs> If y'all haven't went to Aggie Spa <laughs> Wellness, I'm telling you, I was in heaven. Trina made me feel so welcome. And even though, you know, I was a friend, she still remained professional. She, you know, educated me about my skin and everything. So I appreciate that. I mean, I was glowing. Uh, she had a sister glowing. And um, I really appreciate <laughs> that. I mean, her customer service is very, um, is exceptional and um, I was just, I felt at home and she definitely made everything. The education part was definitely, I love you for that because you educated me about my skin. Like, I know I have some issues with my skin with, you know, pigmentation and stuff like that. And then I had a few blackheads and I was like, I never even heard of that. You know, like yeah. she educated me about my skin. So I appreciate um, you for that. Not only are you doing facials and other things you're educating us about our skin and our well-being and all of that and our health and so i really appreciate you for that so you guys check her out she's definitely um wonderful she's over in the tampa bay area and um i'm telling you she's black owned so you definitely want to check her out thank you thank you <laughs> all right so um back to the friendship situation right do you feel because you know everybody now a lot of people are woke um, and they always want to talk about love languages between, again, woke partners Ooh. as far as, you know, <laughs> sexual partners or whatever. Um, don't you feel that we as friends should have conversations about what our love languages are between each other? Most definitely. And then somebody posted something, and this was so pivotal to me, but our apology languages. Because exactly. when you're upset, how you deal with something may not be the same way how somebody else deals with exactly. something. Exactly. So I know that just the love languages that I 
I know I'm like a combo of everything because me being me, I literally, I thrive mm-hmm. off of different things. I love quality time. You'll see a lot of my friends were like, yo, I can spend hours with somebody. I can literally, like, I have my friends over at my house. I have Sunday fun day. We'll spend hours and we'll be chilling. We might be there for hours to, like, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. And a lot of my friends are like, yo, we be having us at the house wherever. <laughs> I don't be holding them hostage. But, you know, I just love being around people. You right. know? Hey, don't go belong. Yeah. She'll have you hostage. I'll have you hostage. <laughs> you know, but I know that people love being, you know, within my home. I have a great energy within my home, like, right. period. You know, I create that um, just oasis type situation. I love calm. I love laughter. Um, so I love quality time, not just in my friendships, but in my partnerships. Right. Right. Um, and then also, um, touch is a thing for me with partnerships. Right. Mm-hmm. But with my friends, I will give hugs, you know, um, or just, but sometimes it's not a touch situation. It's just, yo, appreciate you. Somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like, I appreciate you. those kind of things, but they're different love languages. People really thrive on. Some people prefer gifts. I'm a gift giver. I may not be a receiver though. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. Um, so there's different love languages languages what do you think or have you ever really felt that you've had conversations like this with your friends where it's like yo i know what her love language is and so i because i have an awareness of it i go not just out of my way to you know make sure she's appreciated in this love language that she appreciates Mm -hmm. but you know it just comes naturally because of my love for this friend this sister okay so what is your love language and do you feel like you have that hey miss rachel Hey, hey. <laughs> so Rachel is in the building. All right. Hey. So we're going to table that conversation because she's going to get yeah. in on the conversation. For oh, sure. yeah. We're going to get but, deep. <laughs> but um, our special guest, Miss um, Rachel Spay Hudson. Yeah. Of, uh, Queen Rachel. P-O-R, Pursue, Overtake, and Recover <laughs> Services. Miss uh, Look Who's in Business. Um, you got a couple different things. We got real estate companies. Here we got credit repair. She's helped me with my credit when I was buying a house. But Miss Rachel is here. I'm gonna let you take a moment and calm down because I know traffic. Hot, yeah. But I know. Traffic, I'm sure. I yes. thought about you when I was stuck in traffic. I was like, she's kind of father to me. But guess so. what? She <laughs> showed up. And anybody who says that, oh, I live too far or whatever, Miss Rachel showed up. So I don't want to hear nothing from anybody. You gonna make time for what's important you, exactly. to you? That's right. And we okay. truly appreciate Thank her. You. Um, I've been excited about this because I said out from day one, I was like, look, the one person I definitely want for our first guest is Miss Rachel. I love her. <laughs> she was fine for you. <laughs> hey, boo. What's going on? So All go right. ahead and put the headphones on when you get a moment. But um, back to what we're talking about. And she's going to jump right in mm-hmm. um, when she gets a moment to settle down. Your love language. Um, and do you feel like you have friendships that actually really thrive with what you are as an individual and a being? Most definitely. Because mm-hmm. that goes back to what we just discussed. Mm-hmm. I have friends from the sandbox, mm-hmm. literally. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Meaning that we grew up together, mm-hmm. next door neighbors, and we're still friends to this day. Mm-hmm. But then I have those friends that, you know, we just don't get each other. Mm -hmm. But we're still friends. Right. And that goes back to, you know, some people have different, you know, they were raised differently. Mm -hmm. Which, you know, it's not saying that you were raised wrong or I was raised right or whatever the case might be. But we all speak different love languages. And it just comes to that common ground. Because if you love a person enough... You're going to sit down and have a conversation to reach that medium. Yes. Right. And that goes back to nobody owes you anything, mm-hmm. but you're still going to have that common ground. Right. You said Definitely. something about communication. So now, Tasha, what about your love language and how you relate with your friends? Or have you heard about <laughs> love languages and something you want to explore? Not really, but um, I do know that uh, friendships are very important. Um, I think that a lot of people, um, again, like I said, the healing part mm-hmm. Um, That can damage friendships. Um, I've learned also that uh, just because you you know somebody, it doesn't mean somebody sent me something today um, and it stated that um, just because you've known someone for so long, that doesn't mean that they actually um, is an actual friend. It's just that longevity was, you know, around Mm -hmm. and, you know, some people got friendships um, mixed up. Mm. So again, it all boils back to healing themselves, mm. the mental state of their mind. Yeah. A lot of people just have been burned so much. So they don't know what a real true friend is. 
um, I was talking to somebody and I was saying, you know, loyalty now, what does that really mean? Because it's, it's just, it's again, like I said, it goes back to the individual, the healing part of them, the mental state and all of that. So if you've always been in and out of friendships, then of course the true friendship, you may be blinded to it. Mm. So, okay. and now when it relates to business, because we all run businesses, but hey, you know what? We'll time, be right back. back. It's break time, but <laughs> when we come back, we got Miss Rachel hey. Space Hudson. Right. Hey, Make sure you call us at eight one three four 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 nine five eight eight. Thank you. I still under break. in a car crash call ricky don't know what to do ask ricky we will connect you with a lawyer and doctor experience in auto accident injuries call ricky at 844-361-7425 after an auto accident you have 14 days to seek medical attention you may be in pain so call ricky ask ricky for your best options 844-361-7425 call ricky ask ricky is a legal and medical referral service the lawyers in our network pay to receive referrals my name is Gil Sampson. I didn't come from a very rich family, and so paying for college would have been very tough. I don't know if I would have been able to go to the college that I went to, and then I don't know if I would have gotten into the career that I am in. So I think Bright Futures has done a lot to shape my life. I uh, got a job as a structural engineer, and I design residential buildings, commercial buildings all over the United States. Because of Bright Futures, I was able to go to college. You know, so many kids just don't even ever get that opportunity. And to be able to do it and not have any debt when I graduated is amazing. And it was all thanks to Bright Futures. Florida has created more than one million jobs in only five years, and a great education connects our students to these exciting opportunities. That's why the Florida Lottery has funded Bright Futures Scholarships to help over 725,000 students attend college. Because every play is for education. The Florida Lottery. Just imagine. Hey, 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 we back, guys. Welcome back to Goddess Talk with Balaji, Tasha, and Miss. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. We're back with our <laughs> special guest, Miss Rachel Spade Hudson. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> so, we're going to jump right into it. We're going to have some questions for her, but what we want to do is allow her to just give us her story. You know, tell us who she is, what she's doing, and how she came about to just where she is right now so go right. ahead miss rachel welcome 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 and she has a very hey. inspiring story oh lord <laughs> hey y'all let's just move into the mic <laughs> okay well my name is rachel spate hudson i basically i own a credit repair company i'm also a realtor i just recently opened my own um real estate company Woohoo! On the 9th <laughs> of July. Yes. I was hoping that I was like, yes. <laughs> so it's been a lot, but um I started doing credit repair in 2007. I was inspired because I worked for a company that was training me how to manipulate people to pay debts. Mm -hmm. And I realized that this wasn't the wasn't the job that God called me to be, but he called me to right. be there for a purpose. Mm -hmm. Right. So and then I realized that I was supposed to be fixing credit. Mm -hmm as of me being on this job and so it just transformed into me doing credit repair for my home then open up my office open up office in tampa we had an office in atlanta mm -hmm. wow. then i got my real estate license and then now i have so much going on i just kept <laughs> building and building and building and building and so now here i am yeah awesome <coughs> and how did you get to look who's in business i yes. want to talk about that look especially. who's in business this is my third year <laughs> yes my first well my first year really being in florida i started my company afro organics and we were told we got to go to look who's in business didn't know what? what it was this is the second year it was so now mm -hmm. year five right right so second year and we got there, and Miss Rachel just embraced me. Like, look, I got like this many companies. Sign us up when you're ready. I was like, <laughs> Yeah, it's like, what? what's up? What <laughs> okay. you gonna do? We right, weren't right. even ready, ready at that time. But she was like, Yeah, just just let me know. And since then, every year, I make sure you I come there. back. That that I booked that one, and I don't travel during that time. 
So how did wow. you get to look who's in business? Yes, because definitely it's a hit, man. Yeah. It's definitely something to be at. Well, it was a baby in the beginning. Um, I have all these credit pair clients, and all of them, all of my clients had hustles. Okay. Like some did hair, some did nails, some made shoes, made clothes, babysat, did yards. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I'm like, so where y'all get all this money from? Like, don't, why did <laughs> nobody know you was in business? Like, hold on now. And so I was like, okay, I can create a little networking event. Yeah. It's called Look Who's in Business and Guess What They Do. Yeah. Okay. nobody knew. What, they what the doing? heck they yeah. did. I want to cuss, but... Yeah. <laughs> like, hey. You know what I mean. I know, but nobody knew what they did. And I was like, I think it's very important that people know what you do mm-hmm. so they can contact you. Right. For services, you just can't be under the rug yeah. saying you have a business and nobody know it. Yeah. Right, right, <laughs> right. And the very, website very um, for Look Who's in Business is what exactly? So people can check us out right now. If you're going on, if you're on yep. Facebook, She's Instagram, out there. there is a Look Who's in Business on Facebook. And I right. I post that all the time. So if you're right. a friend of mine, you already see that all day. Right. You can go to Look Who's in Business on Facebook, but you also can go to Eventbrite pretty much. My website, I kind of shut it down because I didn't update it on time. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. No I just did not. <laughs> no I'm busy, but... B. <laughs> we it get it. So I'm like, okay, that's gone. That's passed. But um, we are on Eventbrite, LWIB2K19, yeah. Eventbrite.com. Okay. And then on Facebook. And if you want to, well, the vendor booths, they are sold out. All of the VIPs. Sold out, people. <laughs> but, That's big. But, 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 next, next time, next year, get on time. VIP tickets are still available. Mm-hmm. Okay. You can, greet, you can come out the day before where we meet all the vendors. And that day came about because I never got to meet the vendors when they signed up. Yeah. Right. So I was like, well, I got to do something so I can meet the people who supported face face, me. Yeah. Right. Because the day of the networking event, I'm working too. Yeah. And right. she do. Right. She works, y'all. And not just that, who's the special guest this year? First of all, I want to talk about hey. Hey. Straight out of where, hey. Trina. Hey. Look, hey. look hey. that's her hometown. Okay. <laughs> so this year is who? Master P. Master, Master P. P. Uh. <laughs> But the last two years that I have gone, she had Yandy the first year I was there. Yes, okay. I was there when Yandy last was there. Last year, she had Miss Deb. And let me tell you, Miss Deb had me cry. I never knew who this woman was. Miss <laughs> Deb is amazing. And then me and her had a whole situation. Like, we had a whole conversation sideways, and I was just, like, talking to her. And the funny thing, her assistant's husband was like from my town in Jersey. And it was just like, oh, you got 609? I was like, yeah, I got 609. What you got? Yeah. 609. So it was <laughs> such a connection. Amazing. But you bring people, not just because of their celebrity status. Let's forget that part. But right. the reality of who they are and what they do. Right. And what, what they what, what they value promote, they bring. You know, Mr. Percy has been talking about business for so long. Yeah. yeah. people on right. game. Yeah. Right, right, so right. You bring him yeah. there. I'm not a rapper, you know, connoisseur. <laughs> exactly. But business, ten thousand dollars to what? A millionaire. But, but he knows, and he's put people on. Definitely, and he's given such tips, and Miss Rachel be dropping tips herself. Oh yeah, big time. But this year, you must show up to look who's in business. Two K nineteen. I will be there. I've been there three years, so I, there's I'm no I'm definitely going to be there. Trina going to be there. As soon as I leave the shop. Tasha's going to be there. Hey. Um, hey. But I have, been posting, <laughs> I have been posting the event right all over my social media. I'll keep posting it. So you guys, if you see it, make sure you buy your tickets. All my friends are coming. I'm already telling y'all y'all coming. Uh, <laughs> and I'm telling you, man, look who's in business. You <laughs> would be no amazed at all of the black businesses yes. that are in business. Okay. And when Rachel started this, this was definitely, not only is this just a platform, this is a huge platform for black businesses. You will see everybody there. I mean, it's just so many people that be at Look Who's in Business. And I'm telling you, her vendor spaces are reasonable priced and everything. And what, even if you don't get anything out of it, you will get a lot from education. Um, you will meet people. Um, there's going to be connections made and all of that stuff. So um, we appreciate you for making that platform. That was, I mean, that that is just something that needs to keep going. I want you to continue to do it and all of that. But we're going to talk about some credit things, too. Because that's something important Ooh. that a lot of people have all of these <laughs> myths about, you know, credit. And I can tell you from being around you. Because, yes, Rachel always have supported me and um, my business partner, Bonnie, with the all-white day party. Mm-hmm. She was always a sponsor. 
and she's always been there. Anytime we call right. Rachel, she's there. We've supported her with no definitely with no hesitation. <laughs> so that's what we should be doing. And I can tell you from having conversations with you, I you inspired me to want to fix my credit. You inspired me to say there should be no reason why you should be walking around with bad credit. There's so just no reason. That's mm. why I'm gunning the mm. 800, Rachel. Hey. I'm coming, 784. <laughs> but listening at her and seeing how she moves in the credit world, you'll be amazed because it's things that we think we may know about the credit world, but I'm telling you, with what, 15 plus years? Yeah, since 2007. Right, mm -hmm. going on. There's nothing that she don't know about the credit world. So, Rachel, I just want to talk to you about this myth about home ownership and credit scores. A lot of people are told that they can have these low credit scores and still purchase a home. I want to know what's your um, take on it as far as low credit scores, purchasing a home, what's the, what's the inside scoop of that? Should you have a high credit score? What's the interest rates? What's the benefit of having a low credit score versus a high credit score and purchasing a home? Okay, I'm gonna remember. She had a lot of <laughs> child, I like, Look, uh, I ain't heard of that one. Get a, lo get a house with a low credit yeah, score? It's, it, that it, one's that, crazy. That's new to me. Well, you actually can get a house with a low credit score, but you're just going to have a really high interest rate. Yeah. Okay. And you're not going to get down payment assistance. Okay. No, gonna, that's... You're not going to really get any perks or you're just going to buy a house. Yeah. Okay. See? And basically, you'll... Your, your interest rate is going to determine how much house you can buy. Okay. So if you have a high interest rate, say you get a, a house with a 580 score, you may be approved for 200000 Okay. at a lower rate, but now you only can buy 150 yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's... basically you're getting a smaller house because okay. your credit score sucks. Okay. Right. Okay. So you can buy a home with a 580 credit score. I just okay. don't advise it. Right. right. That's we why I wanted it. an expert because Thank a you. lot of people think that, yeah. okay, this is the way to go. I'm going to, because it's good Let's to own right a home. In, right. I would never tell anybody not to buy yeah. a home, but I wanted the expert here to talk about the difference between a 580 and a 720 or a 750. So for those yeah. who are in the 700 club, what are the benefits of home ownership with them? far as interest rates and so forth and what wow. they qualify for you qualify for so many things basically you'll have a low rate okay which will get you more buying power um you can do down payment assistance because you have to have a 640 score to even apply for down payment assistance okay most cases and um a lot of times you get offered more services yeah. if your scores are high yeah. you yep. go conventional you can do a three percent down mm -hmm. You know, you can just do so much more with the highest score. Okay. And if you don't have a high score, do not think the bank is going to tell you, ah, if you get your score up, you can do blah, 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 blah. You hear that, if people? You don't there, you don't think. know it. Yep. They're not going to tell it to you because they already tell your education you. level yep. by your conversation when you walk in the door. Right. So right. The little tips and all of that that you're supposed to get from your bank, right. the bank is not going to give it to you because they're interested in just selling a product. Yeah. Okay. So okay. They're interested yeah, in doing can... their job. Right. 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 And, <laughs> and again, like she said, if your conversation, the way you talk, you know, they can kind of under can your tell, verbiage. you know, your verbiage. Exactly. So, all, right. all right, we got a break, guys. So when we come back, we're going to still chop it up more with Rachel. We're going to talk more about look who's in business. And if you need to purchase a home, she's definitely a realtor that can help you. We'll be back. Linda Archie with Tyre Temple United Methodist Church. Join us every first and third Saturday of the month at the Village Market East Tampa, 3206 North Sanchez Street. Free parking, free admission, fresh produce, live entertainment, vendor shopping, and delicious cooked food. Join us every first and third Saturday of the month beginning June 22nd. For vendor information, call me 1-888-991-2502. See our ad in In Touch News or Florida Sentinel. Please call me at 1-888-991-2502. The Village Market at East Tampa, 3206 North Sanchez Street. Hi, this is Dr. 
Dr. Veronica Walters, also known as Dr. V, the head of school at the Walters Academy for Entrepreneurship, a place that we like to call The Way, where we're educating today's youthpreneurs to be tomorrow's billionaires through social entrepreneurship. Do you have a student who's bored, frustrated, gifted, inquisitive, creative, business-minded, then maybe you need to check the way out. Listen, we have an educational platform that allows for individualized instruction. It's strength-based, project-based, and designed to help your students become the absolute best they can while starting their own business and being an entrepreneur. If you're looking for something different and you need to find a more excellent way, then you need to visit us at The Way. That's The Way, www.thewaetampa.org. Or you can call us at 813-603-7923. We look forward to showing your students a more excellent way at the way. Okay. Welcome, right. welcome, welcome. We're back. Goddess well, Talk. Yes. So we're back with Goddess Talk with Balaji. Tasha. And Trina. Hey, Trina. And, and our <laughs> special guest, Rachel Spates Hudson. <laughs> All the right. credit lady. Yeah, that's yes. what her realtor yeah. has Hashtag. everything. <laughs> um, so Miss Rachel, um, you not only have your real estate company, you have the credit repair, and again, we're here because of the look who's in business. Right. Um, two K nineteen show coming up in two weeks, basically. Um right. it's what dates um can you tell us what the dates are? It's Friday. Dates through and Sunday? time. <laughs> July 26th and 27th. Okay. okay. The 26th is basically the meet and greet of the vendors. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Powwow session. We got a lady coming down from New York, Nicole. Mm-hmm. Um, the great motivator. Yeah. Oh, Chase. okay. I've Shout out to Nicole. She be, I was like, ooh, ooh. Yeah. All right. <laughs> she, all right. She, she gonna rattle your cage. I, I Shout out to Nicole. She needs to shake. She's like, back up now. She's gonna need to get a cage. But she's from New York. You know how we talk when we up north. It's, it's different. Right. Uh, we, we ride with it, you know. Right. But on Saturday is the big, of course, big, where we will see Mr. Percy, a.k.a. Master P. Yes. Um, but you've been doing this for five years now, all right? And you have a wealth of knowledge in not just your own businesses, but probably helping people create Mm -hmm. their own businesses. You've probably motivated people that you didn't even realize to create businesses. And you have, I believe it's a program where people can come under you and become credit repairs also, repairers, and also real estate agents also for you. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about that because that is another stream of income that a lot of people don't know to tap into. Right. And if they come through you, how does it work? Well, basically, how I set the credit repair courses up is set up in three segments. And I believe if you don't know the groundwork, there's no need to be giving you the business know. part mm-hmm. of it. Right. Because a lot of times people just won't, just show me what to do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, you're not going to know what to do when you have these diverse clients. Yeah. Like, what if they have a repo mm-hmm. and a charge off? Mm-hmm. What you going to do? If I give you, you can't get what I got mm-hmm. in one class. Mm-hmm. Right. So I had to break it down. The basic, do you know your laws? Do you know the statute of limitations? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you right. know what this means? Do you know what the charge off means? Do you know what this means? Mm-hmm. Do you know how to read a credit report? Do you know what this say? Because a credit report, when you get it from a lender, it is set up for the creditor to read it. Not the right. individual. Yeah. Right. It has all these codes and it's yeah. encrypted. Right. Do you know what accounts to touch? Which accounts not to touch? Do you know which account, if it falls mm-hmm. off, it's going to hurt your credit? Yeah. Exactly. A lot of people don't understand that. So when I have my classes, sometimes they want to pay, sometimes they don't want to pay. Yeah. And it's kind of like, but it, you know you your work. But it. here's you know the thing work. that's that I don't get: <laughs> you have to pay for <laughs> your. You have to pay in order to to get where you want to be. It's levels the credit, y'all. I'm telling it's you, it's, it's definitely oh, levels. Definitely okay. This is not a fly by night. You can't just think <laughs> that stuff gonna fall off your credit and you don't have a high credit score and all that. No. Stop listening to people and get with a real deal credit repair person that has been doing this. She gets homes and cars and all just things that she do alone should make anybody want to go and say, hey, I want professional help. And I don't want right. a fly by night person. Right. And Ms. Right. Rachel, she's ruined her with credit on purpose to fix it. <laughs> I see her do this. No, she posts she posts stuff. And I'll be watching. I'll be over here retweeting or reposting her stuff. I'll be laughing most times. She, she be posting some funny stuff. But you purposely mess up your credit to see what different things, how it affects things so that you can help 
your clients. Right. So this is not somebody who just, oh, they have a perfect credit and they don't touch it and they keep it perfect. Yeah. They they ruin it on purpose to rebuild it so that they can show and show the different nuances there are to credit repair. Right. right. So right. I basically did that because when I did my entrepreneur class, everybody in our class, they taught us how to run businesses, but nobody had credit. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, you taught us how to run a business, taught us how to do a business plan, you taught us how to, in a bank, funded this program, but none of us had credit to yeah. get the business loan. Yeah. Right. yeah. So I went to the bank, I did my application, and they told me I wasn't approved, but I said, why wasn't I approved? Tell me what I need to do. Give me my list mm -hmm. of items and let me... Yeah. Fix it. So, mm -hmm. how do I? What do I do to get ten more points? Mm -hmm. Right. Or twenty more points? They couldn't tell me. They okay. couldn't tell you. And, you and I'm glad you session. touched on credit and business because people don't understand. You have to have credit. You got to have personal credit in order to get where you need to be. Because if you if if anything happens today or tomorrow, money stops or just anything, and somebody say, "Well, okay, we don't have any money to dish out, but how's your credit?" You're going to be stuck, and that's why it's so important. You have to get your credit straightened out for business purposes or anything like that. Rachel, I talk to so many business owners that don't even have a Duns and Brad Street or whatever it's Ooh. called number. I was at a seminar that Kenyatta Ruckenham had, and mm -hmm. you was the, you was the speaker there, and I was there, and I listened at everything that you said, and you talked about that and different things about vendors and all of that stuff to build up so that you can prepare yourself for business credit. Do you know it's a lot of people that are operating businesses and don't even know about business credit? They're financing <laughs> their businesses with their own personal money, and guess what? Their credit, their personal credit is it's also yeah. um, ruined, so mm -hmm. now it's like... Like, where do these people start? I would say contact Rachel. Hey, that's all I can right. tell yes. you. Hey, contact <laughs> Rachel. <laughs> it's above me now. Right. <laughs> it's above me now. Right. But, well, I would just basically say you got to start with your own credit first. Mm -hmm. What it good is a Dun & Bradstreet if the business, you are the business, if it's all jacked up? Mm -hmm. Right. Dun exactly. And basically, you can get a Dun's number, and you can start getting business credit with your Dun's number, but... um. When they go to asking you for your personal, who's going to be the personal guarantor for uh, five hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars? Oh. Who's going to be the personal guarantor? And you don't That's run the company, but deep. your credit mm -hmm. is jacked up. Right. So a lot of times people don't go through the Dun and Bradstreet route because one, they know that their credit is not up to par. Right. right? And most mm -hmm. times they do ask you for your social. You don't have to give them your social all the time. Okay. But if your business doesn't have credit already established through the business credit world, you're going to have to give them your social, or you're going to have to start establishing your own business. Credit. Wow. And and a that's lot. the DNB. That's deep. So right. DNB.com, um, Duns and Bradstreet, because a lot of people mm -hmm. don't know. So we got to make sure that we always kind of recap so that people yes. feel like, oh, hold on, let me write this down. Right. Because a lot of my friends did Most give us that feedback. Like, Most oh, definitely. Uh, what did y'all say again? We will go back through the footage and always write down and give you mm -hmm. websites and links. And, of course, we're going to show you how to get in touch with Miss Rachel for all her businesses. Definitely. And to get her services. But you've actually helped me, especially with my... Uh, what is that? Oh, oh it's that your. Oh, on. somebody's uh, calling. I was like, what? I was. Like, I got three phones, y'all. I got a couple different businesses. Right. So I was so like, each hey, ringtone is like, what? what? I was like, who's that? Miss like, Rachel, what? you've actually helped me when I was buying my house because I did go through your credit repair. And I didn't have horrible credit. It was just the fact that there were certain things I still needed to kind of right. tweak yep. because. My student loan was jacking right, me up. Right, right. And we just needed to <laughs> get certain things taken off. And it wasn't nothing much, but the student loan was the biggest item. And it was just oh. like, dang. Those was a killer. So special. And it was just like, Ooh. so. I'm sure Rachel done <laughs> seen everything the, under the sun. We did. You have the authorized user accounts right. that you um, uh, give make available to some people. So it's not just credit repair as far right. as you know, and stuff, but give, giving you a line of credit to show that you have established credit for a certain amount of years could also assist you. Of and Ms. course. Rachel does have that service as well. Yeah. And I think you definitely put me on a good one because <laughs> let me tell you. That credit that, score that, that was like, like, hey, <laughs> you know. Well, see, it's a myth behind the it authorized is. user yeah. accounts. Mm -hmm. People think that you can just get them and your credit score is going to go yeah. up to a 700. No. Yeah. No. But if your credit is not clean, yeah. why are you mm -hmm. adding it? Yeah. Authorized user yeah. on your credit report, right. Yeah. right? And anytime I mention yeah. authorized users on my on my Facebook page, like two months later when I update my clients' credit reports, they got all these three hundred dollar authorized <laughs> user cards <laughs> like, on what? their credit report with high balances, and I'm like. 
who told you to yeah. go and get that? They no. just like, why would you that? do that? Right. Like, why not to... call the expert? <laughs> well, they try to beat me at my goal. Yeah. One, they don't want to pay for authorized yeah. use. Yeah. 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 Been open. Got to pay to play, years. y'all. And that was it. They've been open <laughs> over 15 years. Yeah. All of them have a $10,000 limit yeah. or higher. Yeah. Right. They've never been late. Yeah. And they've never been over the limit or yeah. half of the limit yeah. being right. used. So when I put that on somebody's credit, you're going to adapt adopt all of my credit history. Yeah. Right. And then you got 90 days to do what you're going to do. Then I'm 90 taking days, my people. Yeah. That's, that's how I make a living. Yeah. Right. right. And exactly. I'm just, and you know the sad part about it is um, I have people all the time that talk about, and I know we got to wrap it up, talk about they can't get apartments and, you know, all of that stuff. Y'all got to get y'all credit right. Let me tell you something. If y'all ain't got y'all credit right, Rachel is the one. I'm telling you, holla at Rachel, Look and she can definitely business. help you. Look yes. who's in business, 2K19, yes. coming here to Sarasota, Florida at the Robot Robart Sports Arena. And I just drove Boom. past there a couple weeks Was ago. It? Mr. Percy, a.k.a. Do- um, Master P, is going to be there. And the dates again? And the dates July are? 26 and 27. And 26 thank you so much, and 27. for showing up at You're Goddess welcome. Thank with you. Balaji. Tasha. And Miss Trina. Have a blessed day, y'all. <laughs> Love y'all. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> that hour was so fast. That was quick. I was-